Hi, my name is Jessica Dame, and I'm an Archives and Records Technician at the Martha Blakeney Special Collections and University Archives, also known as SCUA, at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro. Today, I will share the methods, challenges, and results of rapidly collecting COVID-19 web content in the Piedmont Triad area of North Carolina for the Triad COVID-19 Web Archive. SCUA has been archiving UNCG web content using Archive-It since 2015 and began collecting the university's COVID response and information in March 2020. The university archivist identified Archive-It's COVID-19 web archiving special campaign in April 2020 and reached out to other archivists in the region to find out if they planned to archive COVID-19 web content. When it was identified no one else would be archiving such content, we applied for the Archive-It campaign. The goal was to collect community content and make it accessible for future research. The University Archivist and I decided to collect within the scope archive it suggested in the campaign. Websites, documents, videos produced by local government, regional hospitals, K through 12 schools, universities and tech schools, nonprofits, community landmarks and community initiatives. The scope only included COVID-19 pages and not a website's entirety. Working remotely, we invited the SCUA department to participate by suggesting websites and pages by county of which there were 12. Local knowledge and Google searches played a big role in identifying websites and pages. Collection took place in May 2020 with evaluation beginning immediately. When a piece of web content met the scope, a test crawl was run. With a successful test, reoccurring crawls were set and metadata applied. Crawls in 2020 began at a weekly interval and decreased to monthly by the end of 2020. Errors and redirects were addressed at the time of the crawl reports. We adopted an opt-out approach due to the desire to collect content immediately because it was changing so quickly, with the intention to email site owners in the summer of 2020 after collection began. Notifying site owners was difficult because some sites sometimes had no contact or only a contact us form. We received about eight replies, but no opt outs. The lack of, of replies may have been due to staff availability to reply during the summer of 2020. We chose not to collect social media because of the challenges of crawling sites like Facebook and Instagram, but also because it could use large amounts of data, such as the case of YouTube. The exception was a small group of YouTube videos featuring students in the triad talking about masking. We hoped to crawl, to crawl a diverse collection of COVID-19 content by having a broad scope and including the whole department in the nomination process. We collected landmarks like the local zoo and community parks, community groups like the Guilford Green Foundation and LGBTQ Center, and a variety of schools like HBCUs, tech schools, and private colleges. It is assumed by not collecting social media that local initiatives may have been missed. We met crawl frequency challenges through the data limit versus the data used in the Triad COVID-19 web archive. We reached our 2020 annual budget with the campaign expansion by November. We had to stop all crawls until late January 2021 when our subscription was renewed. A common web archive challenge arose of collecting content before it disappeared. An example is Project Mask Winston-Salem. Project Mask is a masking sewing initiative that had a website with images and information, but was taken down in July 2020 and moved exclusively to Facebook. Without web archiving, this initiative's origins would have been lost. The collection has 152 unique items. Between May 2020 and December 2021, about 50 websites expired or were taken down. Now in 2022, we are crawling less than 30 URLs quarterly because many stop sharing updated content. To highlight the data usage in 2020, the Triad COVID-19 web archive used the most data at 856.9 gigabytes out of 1.2 terabytes. This is more data than the top UNCG collections used in a six year period. We have shared the web archive in papers and on social media. We hope it will be useful in future research about the triad. Thank you.